Welcome my Xtubers, this is uh, YouTube Killer here and today I'm going to actually just do something a little different away from my rants. Um, also this would also work with, I'm not sure, I don't really use Photoshop as much as I used to but I know it works really good with GIMP. It's actually a way that I make a lot of my font tags and uh, signatures but it, I'll, put, I'll post a link to this uh, site right here as you see right here as I'm marking the browser bar but anyway this segment is going to be about how you can actually add uh, cool text into your own artwork without having to do it with your hand or drawing so what you want to do is you want to go to this site and you can read all this or whatever um, on your own time as you see right there but what you want to do is you want to come down here and you'll have a generation you know like a generator box uh, there's plenty of different types of uh, font styles, uh, colors. See right here, you can change the font size. You can lower the font size, but you can also come over here. You can change any color you want, like that, like that, like that, etc. Come over here, you know what I'm saying? But for you right now, I'm just gonna do a real quick example of hmm, a way you could do this. So I'm gonna go up a little bit. Let's see what I want to do. Now, this is the way I do it. I mean, there's so many different ways people can do this. But I, this is the easiest way I found to do. Uh, we'll, we'll just let's see. Oops. Got a little too happy there. Alright. So we'll go to, we, you know, we get your font size, your color, and then your text. Then what you want to do is hit generate, like that. And the way I do it is I'll just actually just save it. And I always save stuff to my desktop and then put it in a folder later on, so it's going to look kind of fucking cluttered, just to let you know. And there we have it. So now we're going to close that out. I'm going to open up Yep. Uh, let's see. For an example, we'll just open up. Shit, I don't have nothing. You know what? I'll just create a new one. Mm. That'd be fine. Just for show and tell, anyway. Alright, so we'll go to Bucket Field. We'll go with Black. Open up another window. Go down and find it. It was New Create. Come on. Yeah, I got way too much. Wait, did I do did I on the desktop? That might be the why. Aha, that might be the why. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Yep, that's it. Sorry, you gotta move this out of our way. Alright, so now we have my text. Now, what you want to do in order to make this work and add effects like uh, drop shadow and shadowing and and different you know skills you can use. The way I do it is I'll come over to the original box, go to layer, new layer, transparency. I don't touch anything else. Or if you want to just you know set it up how big you want it, how wide you want it. I always go with the actual picture size anyway. Click OK. Then go back to the box, hit edit, cut, come down here. Uh, we'll go with paintbrush. Click on the paintbrush, hit like that. Now, like I said, sometimes you might have to alter the sizes, and it depends on how big the picture is, so it doesn't look so stretched and ugly looking. So, what you want to do now is hit it how many every times you want it, and then to add a little, like I said, a little shadow to it, go down to filters, go down where it says lights and shadow, go to drop shadow. Excuse me, uh, I was not really expecting to do this anyway. Uh, and then right here, what you want to do is this pretty much will. You could have, the more you go up, the more it'll spread out. And the blur radius is pretty much uh, like if you was to drop the occupancy, it looked kind of transparent. It would actually kind of look ghosty like. But what you want to do is you want to come up here. And I'm gonna go with a white color, just an example, and hit OK. Or you can you go mess around with everything around here. I mean, test it out for yourself. 
you know, this is just an example. I'm not going into full detail. I'm just showing you how to do this. All right, now what you want to do is you want to hit OK. Come back up. Check everything. Check everything. You can right here. You can also mess with your occupancy. Like I said, the lower you go, the more it's going to look faded. The higher you go, the more it's going to be brighter. Now I'm going to click OK. And what do you know? See? It's got a little underlying shadow. And you can add as many of these as you want. And however you want. So I could add that. And I can go back and hit another red. We'll go with a darker red this time. Kind of give it a luminary 3D effect. And just keep on messing with it. Then you can actually, sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually come over here. I'll do like two or three colors. I'll switch it back to black. Like that. To darken it. You can do it as many times as you want to darken it. And then come back with another lighter color. We'll go with a really light red this time. And the more you do it, the more you'll have like a shadow background 3D effect to it. It's all up to you how you want to do it. But yeah, that's that's pretty much how you can do it. And you can add this to any picture you want. And you know, it, I think it's one of the easiest ways to do it. I mean, it's up to you. You might have a different, you know, brush set or something. But it's a cheap way. But for people starting out with GIMP, this is really good with picture editing. Because the text editor on here just has shitty ass uh, fonts anyway. But yeah, there's a whole list of them up there. But anyway, guys, uh, that's going to do that for now. Uh, like, subscribe. And I'm going to probably do some more GIMP stuff later. I'm, I'm still t t uh, tweaking with stuff. But anyways, y'all guys have a good night and see you soon.